Hello, this is Marwaz here and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War. So, let's continue where we left off and do the Exalt mission, probably. Unless something else happens in the next one day, but no. Okay. So. Excellent. Oh, this is the Four Soldier Exalt mission, damn it. Okay, I really hate those, to be honest. I might have to bring Daniel now, I need his firepower for this. Alright, let's bring Daniel, even though he's fatigued. Other than that, Christos, I suppose, and possibly a second infantry, and an engineer with some grenades to destroy cover. Bodyman is fatigued, but I got some other engineers. 69 aim, 13 mobility. I got a 15 mobility engineer, but I think I prefer that extra hit point. Alright, that's our team. Wait, hold on, I might have to bring Bodyman. Because he's the only engineer I got with Sapper. Yeah. I have to bring him. Alright, he's coming. Let's see, Shutter Ray for extra mobility and high explosive grenades. His job is to blow up cover. So that's that. Okay. We got two laser rifles. And enough scopes for everyone. And the same exact setup for Daniel. Scope. And the laser rifle. There we go. And Christos. Carbine. That's pretty good aim. And I think we're ready. Yep, looks like we're ready. This is going to be a tough mission, for sure. But let's see what we can do. I do have a 20 mobility operative, so that's going to be useful. Which map is this? Oh, that's the tank map again, really? We just did a terror mission on this one, but okay. Well, let's get started. Now, the number one problem is that if I trigger multiple exalt groups, then I'm pretty much screwed. Strike one is going in the second problem is that I can't really afford to move my operative, because if he triggers any exalt groups, he's probably going to die. And if I run him across the entire map, he's definitely going to trigger something. So, I'll just have to stay back here and wait for my squad. We'll just stay back here, or even back here, that might be better. Okay. Yeah, he's on the other side of the map. Unfortunately, and we won't get there for at least a few turns. I'm moving to that position. Let's get started. Making we'll move towards him. To I don't want exalt patrols to find him, so I'll try to move as much as possible without taking any risks, any unnecessary risks. So I'm not going to dash because if I trigger a group after dashing, then we're obviously just screwed. Might be a good idea to move through the building. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. Let's move through the building. Oh, there's a group on the left side. Oh, really? That's two groups on top of each other? I hate that. And they have at least one Rocketeer. See, this is the reason why I hate for Soldier Exile missions. It was pretty much impossible to trigger these two groups. And we got yet another group. Yeah. That third one isn't that important, but... It was pretty much impossible to avoid triggering these two. Yeah, and the risk here is that I might even be forced to abort this mission. Because we just don't have enough soldiers to handle all of this. We killed one guy, that's a good start. But they have a rocketeer. If that rocketeer uses the rocket launcher, then I'll probably have to abandon this mission. Now I'm considering moving my operative. But if I trigger a fourth group, then... This is going to be game over, more or less. Yeah. I could hug the array right now, but that would spawn more exalts. Would be good to avoid that. I can technically do it. Screw it. Let's do it. I don't think there's going to be a fourth group now that we triggered three. There. Hey, I can take a shot at this guy. We're not going to kill him, but we can do some damage at least. Pretty critical damage. 
The one problem is that he might flank us. So, Bodyman needs to move. And Overwatch. Okay, Overwatch. This might be a failed mission anyway, but I'll try. Yeah. Well, at least they have to reload because we hacked that array. But that doesn't solve the problem of having to kill, like what, 11 exiles right now? And hacking the array will spawn more. Still, I needed that hack. So. Well, I won't be able to rush the other array for obvious reasons. Now I need to get my operative out of there. Let's see. Best way to get him out of there? There's no good way to get him out of there, really. Yeah, there seriously isn't. This is messed up. It's seriously messed up. There, we can flank that guy. Decent crit. But not good enough to get a kill. Hmm. 58%. Okay. Missed. What can we do here? I honestly think I'll have to abandon this mission. I just don't see how it's going to happen. On my way. Bodyman can take a shot. I could flash that guy out of there. That might be a better plan. There. Now he's completely out of sight. I need to keep my operative safe. But how the heck do we do that? Just dash all the way to the back of the building. Let's do this. That's the safest way that I see. There. Commander, well, at least now I have the option to, the to abandon the mission without the sacrificing my operative. Overwatch and Daniel can try to flank them a bit. He has low profile, so he can use any cover he wants. 20%, 55%. I want to try killing that Rocketeer. So let's take a shot. Okay. We need one more hit on the next turn. Now, we still got a lot of exhausts around here. And he's throwing a grenade. That's... Oh. <laughs> he hit himself with the grenade. Nice grenade throw, bro. He almost killed himself with that. If it wasn't for that damage reduction, then he would have killed himself. Awesome. Okay, that's exactly what I needed. This might actually still happen. But if it won't, I'm close enough to the extraction zone. Well, we took some damage, but we still got our cover. That's the important part. If I kill all these guys next to the array, I could actually hack the array. Once I get my run and gun. And I can kill that guy with an AP grenade. Or I could shoot him. But I think I prefer an AP grenade now. Aye, aye, right, let's just use an AP grenade. What's our chance to hit with the pistol? Too low. This will be a safe kill with the grenade. So, right bye. There. Okay, one more turn to get run and gun. I need some healing soon. But first, let's kill the Rocketeer. That's pretty important. That's a kill. Nailed him. No other exalts in line of sight for Daniel. This might be a good moment to back up slightly. To get some heals in. Yeah, I seriously need some healing. 63% twice. I might be able to kill this guy. Let's try that. Okay. Out of ammo here. He is out of ammunition, but I can take a shot with body man. I could throw a grenade. On it. Yeah, that's a much safer way of doing this. It also means I won't be able to reload on this turn, but this should be a kill. Yeah, this will do two damage easily. Okay, go. That also means I won't be reloading on this turn, but it's a kill. That's the important part. Now, the medic. I can't dash into cover. 
what can we do here? I'm just yeah, dashing to full cover, like so. There are still a lot of triggered exalts, especially on the right side. Hmm, reload or hunker down? Reload, because we'll need to do more damage. And try to flank that guy on the next turn. There. We got two exalts. In range, that is. This might actually be doable. Not saying it will be easy, but we are doing fine, all things considered. Four soldier exalt missions are always tough. Or almost always. Now. We got one guy on Overwatch. 43%. I could throw a grenade, but I can't throw it this far. I'm on the move. This might be a good moment to reload. I could hit this guy, but that won't really accomplish anything. Let's reload. Take a shot twice at this dude. 20%. The second shot will have 80%. Because holo targeting. He does have covering fire. So he would take a shot at me, but I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's go for it. There, he missed. Can we hit him? Go, go. Nice. We might be able to kill him. Just need one more hit. 80% chance to kill that guy. That's a kill, awesome. This is going better than I originally expected, I have to say. I could hug that array right now, in theory. But no, not yet. We're not ready for that. Let's play it safe. I'll keep my operative safe. Kind of funny, the operative with no armor has higher health than some of my other soldiers. Speaking of other soldiers, we can get some healing in on the next turn. Like so. And... Okay, I can take a shot or I can overwatch. Let's overwatch then. We might get a hit if we do that. So there's still at least one more exalt that I can't see on the right side. At least I think so. I kind of lost count. Do some healing and I can flank that guy. So let's flank that guy. Actually no. Yes, I can flank him here. Should be safe, unless there's one exalt on Overwatch that I'm not seeing. No, we can flank him. And that's a kill. Awesome. Bodyman needs a heal on the next turn. Did we kill all exalts? No, I'm pretty sure we did not. Yeah, there's definitely at least one more exalt on the right side, on the other side of this building. Possibly more than one. But I wasn't actually counting them. Yeah, there is at least one guy over there. Oh yeah, that was the guy that I hit with the pistol, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. So, can we kill him? Yep, that's a kill. Awesome. Now, let's do some healing first. Come here, body man. He will be wounded for a while after this mission, but oh well. The important part is to actually complete this mission successfully. If I didn't bring a strong squad like this, I would have been screwed. So reload, obviously. And let's keep moving. There's no huge rush. Overwatch. And either take a shot or overwatch. I think overwatch is better. I can't actually kill that guy unless I get a crit with 18%. So we can use Overwatch. Bodyman will move one tile left. As for our operative, well, we'll move it towards the array. There. I love his mobility. He's going to be an insane assault in the long run. So how many more exalts are there? I'm thinking two more, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Okay. Let's go kill that guy, if possible. Nope, we can't see him. Alright. Maybe on the next turn then. Keep moving. He can move where Bodyman is. 
and Bodyman can move into different cover. Over here is fine. So mob and the medic. We got three more medkits. I hope I won't need them, but they are there. Yep, there's one guy over here. I knew that. I think there might be one more, but I'm not sure. Nice. Yeah, this guy will be easy to kill. No problem. We might even kill him right now. Yep. Awesome. So now that guy will run away just a moment ago. Yeah, he's right there. He's making it easier for us. Good guy Exalt. That might be the last one now. Best way to kill him. Let's get holo targeting up. There we go. And we need literally one more damage. Bodyman could throw a grenade, but that seems like a bit of a waste. I can just shoot him in the face with a pistol to not waste ammunition. So, bye. There we go. That was either the last one or there's one more in this region. There might be one more. So let's play it safe and keep our agent in cover. I'll wait one more turn to see if there are any more exalt incoming or not. I need to know before I hug the array. Reload and we can take this turn to reload everything. Yep, there's one more guy. So he might take a flanking shot. No, he did not. I had 8 hit points, so I, I would have been fine. Let's see... If I move here, that's going to be out of range. I could get hollow targeting up if I move into the open. I can actually flank him. And get hollow targeting up at the same time. That's 100%. That's actually a kill. Done. So, let's get ready to hug the array. But not yet. Switch back to primary weapons and spread out a little bit. You can go here. Alright, Overwatch. One more turn. Yep, we are not quite done yet. That's a Rocketeer. I think that's a Rocketeer. Yes, that's a Rocketeer. I need him to move towards us then. Let's spread out slightly. I can still shoot him. Alright. That's holo targeting, and we did some damage. 52% chance to kill him. Go for it. That's a kill. Well, that guy was easier to deal with than I expected. So are we done yet? Yeah, I think we're done now. So, we can hug the array and get the heck out of here. I've honestly expected I'll have to abort this mission at the start. But I'm glad I won't have to. So, actually, might be a good idea to move Daniel a little bit. He can stay here, Overwatch. And let's move towards the evac zone. Yep, Bodyman can escort him a bit. And Overwatch. We'll get one more wave of exalts. So, here comes the first one. That's a Rocketeer. Unpleasant. That's another Rocketeer. Seriously? What's with the Rocketeers? Okay. And here's another one. That's not a Rocketeer. But we got two Rocketeers very close to us. That's bad. That's fourth. And one more. Three Rocketeers out of five Exalts. Are you serious right now? Maybe we'll kill him at least. Now, missed everything. Great. Yes, that's a load of ball. I completely agree with that comment. Well, this is going to be unpleasant. How can we do this? That's an excellent question. I can't kill all three on this turn, at least I don't think so. I could throw a high explosive grenade. But I need to be in safe position to not get flanked. If I move here, I could throw a grenade that will kill this guy and do some damage to that guy. If I kill that guy, Bodyman will be safe. Heading out. Okay, let's do that. I like that plan. So this will give us a kill. 
And it will do some damage to that other guy. Okay, go. There we go. Four damage. Now we need one hit on that guy. Let's see. I could shoot first and then move. That's not a bad plan. I like that plan. Hmm. I need to spread out in case they decide to use the rocket launchers. Where do I want to move to? I could move here and he won't actually see the second soldier. I could try to kill that dude. Well, anyway, let's kill that guy first. Or we can miss terribly. That's also a possibility. I was not successful. No, you were not successful. I noticed. Okay. There's no safe way to kill that guy anymore. No, there really isn't. Hmm. I could move here and then take a shot. This might be out of range. Damn it. This is really bad. I could totally use Red and Gun with Takeshi and just shoot that guy in the face. It's potentially a really awful idea. Yeah, no, let's not do that. That's an awful idea, I think. I would have to get a crit on top of that. So... Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Staying here is obviously a terrible plan. I have to move. Which means this guy might flank Bodyman if he decides to. Bodyman should be able to survive with 8 hit points. I was just trying to avoid that. Alright, we'll move, but where? Here? Alright, fine. You can go here. Our medic. He can run back here. Now what about Daniel? That's a good question. This seems to be the best move. Alright, let's try that then. 25%. I can still try to kill that guy. I almost did it! <laughs> that damage reduction. Well, I could kill him with Takeshi now, but if Takeshi gets killed, we will fail the mission, obviously. If I move here, this guy won't actually see Takeshi. At least, I'm pretty sure he won't see him. I might regret this, but I really want to kill that guy. So this is a guaranteed kill, at least. Bye. Now, this is the important part. What are they going to do? Okay. He's just shooting Daniel. I'm okay with this. Right. Well, this will be an easy kill. I can just shoot him in the face. I might need more than one hit. Oh, 89% chance to hit. Right. I need ammo. Now, who's going to get the kill? Bodyman can take a shot. There is one more exalt on the other side of the map. I did not forget about that. Can we actually kill that guy? I want to kill that guy. I can take two shots from back here. That's a kill. Alright, good. Now we need to reposition. Because there is at least one more dude in this direction. So, mob. And... Hmm, right here. I think there's one exalt left. But I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, this guy on the other side of the map. I don't think there are any more... Oh yeah, there is one more dude on the left side. There's another group of exalt reinforcements and we got one commander. last group incoming. Okay. And they are right next to the landing zone. Pretty annoying. No rocketeers, please. I had enough rocketeers for a while. Thanks. So. This is still slightly problematic. 
Because I might get flanked from pretty much any direction right now. Yeah. This is not good. As some soldiers would say. Let's move into the building. Where the heck is that guy? Alright, let's move into the building. Away from that group that just spawned a moment ago. That includes Takeshi. And Bodyman. Bodyman needs to reload. But I'd rather run into yes, the building. Please. We can reload on the next turn. He still has grenades. As for Christos. Yep. Got it covered. He's coming. Okay, so reload. Reload. And reload. As for you. Well, he clearly needs to move. Like this. Okay, reload. We need to kill this single exhaust first. Then I can focus on that new group. So first of all, I need to see where they are exactly. Oh, nice. We can see that guy from back here. Missed. Okay. We tried. Now I could hunker down or move. I need to reposition slightly. Okay, let's reposition. And move Takeshi. Where the heck is that one exalt that I saw earlier? Hmm. I'm keeping Takeshi where he is. Hunker down, Overwatch. And Overwatch. Will we get some reaction shots? No. Alright. Let's open the door. Nothing to see here, apparently. Okay, fine. Overwatch again. I'm not in a huge rush. They will move. There we go. Reaction shot. Nice, that's a kill. Good. So there are three more exalts, if I'm not mistaken. We can take our time to reload. There's no rush. We're not on a timer. Overwatch. And they might still move towards us. And they will. Nice. So take a shot and then hunker down if it fails. Yep, hunker down. That one was lucky. Overwatch, Overwatch. He's moving again. Yep, he's on Overwatch himself now, but that's not a problem. Does he have covering fire? No, he does not have covering fire. There we go, 5 damage. That's 58% chance to kill him. That's a kill. There. There's one more guy close to the evacuation zone. Yep, this guy. And then there's still one more guy on the other side of the map. I'm losing track. But kill this dude and then we can move Takeshi to the evac zone. Let's see, holo targeting. We just need to hit once. So surely someone is going to hit. 65%. That's a kill. Good. Overwatch. There's one more exalt for sure. Now question is, where is he exactly? There was one guy on the left side there. I'm not sure where he is. There might be two more exalts. I lost count. I really did. Well, in any case, we can move Takeshi to the evac zone safely now. We'll take our time to reload. I still got two more grenades that I'm probably not going to use. Reload. Okay. So, where are they? Yeah, this way. I know there's a guy in there. Okay. Let's just get Takeshi out of here. I'd like to be done with this. As in, with the escort part. He does have 8 hit points, but I'm not going to risk closing him. That would be really bad. Right, let's go find that guy. We'll need to reposition slightly. 
There is one more guy here, I think. I'm 90% sure that there's one guy here as well. Maybe it's the same one, I don't know. Get Takeshi out of here, done. Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, that's what we've been doing. Okay, he's moving around. He moved to the right side now, apparently. Okay. Oh, there he is. And we got a flanking shot, nice. We can kill him. I don't think that will... Wait, can we kill him? Well, if I can hit for full cover. Or I can throw a grenade. Or I can use flash. That's 20% chance. Yep, that's a kill. Oh, we're done. I thought there's one more exalt. That was a very interesting mission. <laughs> I'm glad it's done. I thought I'll have to abort it at the start. Bodyman will be wounded for 22 days, but oh well. I'm okay with that. We got a promotion, extra conditioning, suppression and flash. That's an interesting choice. This is a pretty tough choice, actually. It's going to be between suppression and flash, although I like extra conditioning too. Still, suppression is nice on an infantry, flash is also nice. I'll have to think about it. I might go for suppression. As for Christos, that's going to be paramedic. That's an obvious one. Alright, and no promotion for Takeshi. We got free meld and exalt intelligence. Anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.